Okay, before we bring Michael on, we wanted to play uh, the the one game that came out this week was the basketball game. Mikey played that extensively, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. And and I actually, I give it the old uh, two thumbs up. I mean, and as you will see here in the video, we can talk about it when I'm done. And here we are with another Strata release game, and this is Rim Rockin' Basketball, released in 1991. It has a price of $9.99 and is ranked 242 in the iArcade store. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I have been a big basketball fan ever since my youth. Uh, I actually am a pretty diehard uh, basketball fan. And as such, this game immediately got my attention. I noticed that it was five on five, more of a simulation type experience as opposed to the more traditional three on three or two on two type of action that you typically see in the arcade format. So this is definitely going for more of a realistic type approach than it is for something more silly like NBA Jam. And this game actually reminds me of NBA Live 95, which I grew up with on the Super Nintendo as well as the Sega Genesis. And uh, this game has uh, three different modes. It does have a three-on-three -three mode. And unfortunately, there are only two teams in this game. There is an East All-Stars and a West All-Stars, and they are both... Uh, composed of fictional players so none of these players are you know real NBA players unfortunately but despite that shortcoming it doesn't change the fact this game is fun I mean did you see that let's do a replay look at that look at that rim backboard breaking glass shattering dunk and as I was saying, this game immediately reminded me of NBA Live 95. And so that really got my attention and got me thinking, you know, that I wanted to give this game a try. And when I saw it was released, as you see me breaking another backboard, uh, I knew I had to give it a go. And let me just say, guys, that while it, I wouldn't say it's as smooth as NBA Live 95, it's definitely, you can see that the foundation that became NBA Live 95 was actually built upon this game or something very similar. And and I gotta say, it's, it's actually a lot of fun to play. And when the online comes with this game, I think it could really have some good potential here on the IRK. You know, I know that I have enjoyed it thus far. It's... Like I said, it's more of a simulation type experience, a more of a realistic type basketball approach. And I actually kind of appreciate that about it. And I've really been enjoying getting into it. It's, it's a fun game, guys. It's a fun, good basketball game. What it lacks in official NBA license or NBA players, it makes up for it with just good gameplay and just being a fun game. And really, that's what it's all about, is the gameplay, right? Just getting in and having a good time. And the fact that this game does actually offer, like, a tournament mode style gameplay when the online comes could all offer up some very interesting possibilities. And, and while I'm not going to sit here and say this game is going to make anyone forget NBA Jam, of course not when we think of arcade basketball games NBA Jam is what is going to come to mind but having said that this this while it was released as an arcade game this is not an arcade style game it is a simulation style game and what I and, and as I've been saying throughout this video what that means is it's more authentic to the true basketball experience. You're not going to see the over-the-top flying through the air uh, dunks or so anyone saying, you know, he's on fire. You're not going to get any of that. It's going to be a much more, you know, experience that you would expect by watching a real NBA game, even though this game does indeed lack NBA players. But even though it does, doesn't quite have authentic players... They, they did something kind of fun in this game as I was playing it, and that is a lot of the players, while they're definitely their own created players, they share some similarities with some actual NBA players from that time. 
Like that player right there, his name is Isaac Gordon. And I, he's got, he's, a, he's good at dunking and he's got a good jump shot. And so, I mean, Isaac Gordon, Michael Jordan, and he plays on the East All-Stars. You know, Michael Jordan, he played for the Chicago Bulls. So I'm saying that that could be a little hint, hint, Maloney. wink, wink. And then this player, his, his name is Dave Maloney, Moses Malone. Hello. <clears throat> so what is... It's actually Carl Malone. Cheap their way around some NPA players in this game. It actually does kind of have them in its own unique kind of offshoot way. And it... And, as I've been saying, it, it's just this game is just a, kind of a lot of fun to play, and when, once we get online, it'll be a good time. And Akeem Jenkins, Akeem Elijahwan, Isaac Gordon, Michael Jordan, and this dude Earl Elijah. I don't know who they based him off of, but that dude's got a jumper. He can hit the threes, and as you can see, it does have some scores and some stat tracking. So your high score chasers, that could be fun, possibly a well in the future if we get some online leaderboards, possibly. So there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nine ninety nine. <laughs> Before nine ninety nine. Asked, <laughs> you're like he's gonna ask. <laughs> nine ninety nine ain't bad. Yeah, All right. it's a CT Jason approved. Yeah. That actually, I was kind of pat gonna pass on that, but that actually kind of looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not a big sports uh, sports video game player, but you, you know like what? This. It's worth trying. And you know what? If you want to try it and you don't like it, you just give it right back. That's right. I mean, there's nothing That's to true. lose. You could try any game on iArcade for up to half an hour, and there's well, nothing to lose for trying them. It's fantastic. Well, that's why I say in the video, if it's if you played NBA Live '95 or Bulls versus Blazers or any of those old Genesis EA Sports games, and you genuinely enjoyed them, you know, give this one a go. I mean, it's right up your alley. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget we got the iArcadia's merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. Enjoy.